Hey everybody, Craig from Yes Have Some here. Welcome to our Ghostbusters Afterlife watch along commentary with myself, Abigail, and Jacob. Super excited about watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. This movie is incredible. We're going to be giving our thoughts, feelings, and reactions along the way. And if you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and if you're really into it, you can get the full version of this plus all of our additional content on the YHS Patreon. Let's get on to Ghostbusters Afterlife, incredible film directed by Jason Reitman, starring McKenna Grace, Finn Wolfhard, Celeste O'Connor, Logan Kim, Paul Rudd, Carrie Coon, and maybe a couple other familiar faces as well. All right, let's get to it. Look, it's the Columbia lady. There she is. Mm -hmm. Now, she is from the end of Ghostbusters 2. Mm -hmm. She walks mm. down the street in New York. Yeah, okay. I remember that. <laughs> So, what a way to start, though. Like, just the music, the uh, proton wand right off the bat. Egon Spangler immediately. So as we see Egon here, it's like clearly he's older, he's limping, he just crashed his car. Yeah. And his house is almost a representation of that, like a reflection of all the right. crumbling. Let's just take a look at that visual. That is, That needs to be a poster right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the the Sentinel Terror Dog is one of my favorite thing, my favorite new pieces of uh, Ghostbusters lore. I like that. What is Finn Wolfhard eating? Is I, it a I, soup? It's not. I think it's. I think that's honey. I or think like he a dip. is. Yeah, he's dipping bread in honey or something, but also dipping it in hair. Mm -hmm. I had never heard it before this movie. I don't know what it's called either, but I, those I, I I hear it now all I the think time. The hand and I clapping like it. song. Yeah, the sure. hand clapping song. Yeah. It's implied later in the movie that Egon was really kind of losing it and. If he's taking time to spray paint, like, dialogue from Ghostbusters 1 onto right. the, to the outside of this... Uh, how do we feel about Finn Wolfhard's casting in this movie? Because I, I was on board. I, I think he's a really good actor. Well, he I... I don't. I don't want to delve into my annoyance of the the Stranger yeah, Things mm -hmm. comparison. Just because somebody was in one thing doesn't mean you compare every single thing they get cast in to that thing. Exactly. He he's a he's a great up and coming yeah, stand actor. Out. He's in a lot of good stuff, and you know, <laughs> Ghostbusters is partly what inspired Stranger Things. Janine is stylish. Like she's always like fashion forward. Dude, she yeah. always has been, even yeah. in the middle of Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is where we get our first introduction to uh, Celeste O'Connor's character, Lucky. And our that's a very Tarantino oh, shot that oh. I just saw. Yes. I, I wouldn't doubt if Quentin Tarantino uh, guest directed just yeah. the shot of the jukebox. <laughs> it's like jukebox, muscle cars, American hamburgers. Is McKenna Grace's character being guided by Egon Spangler for, mm -hmm. a, for a reason or a purpose? But every time we went down that road... Because that's what I wanted it to be, but I would yeah. be like, let's not get our hopes too high. He's entering and she's gatekeeping by holding the door. I love it. Just, yeah. just because my my personal love for Stephen King and and Cujo just showing up in a Ghostbusters movie, it's so it's also just funny. It is funny. And, <laughs> yeah. And Jason said that the entire reason they did that though was so they could make the Beethoven joke. Should he be wearing gloves? I thought so, like, too. Like, do you work in restaurants and just one person touches all of the food? There's, like, a natural charisma that Logan Kim somehow has. And, like, Jason Reitman's talked about a lot how, like, he just got on set and was like, let's do it. I've never made yeah. a movie, but let's let's go. I love this. A lot of throwbacks to the first Ghostbusters yeah. here. Some, I mean, of the, literally... some of the exact same dialogue yeah. is happening. They're explaining how Dana's building was built out of the, the selenium. The shadow. Yeah. And the imagery is just, like, fantastic. Yeah, this is a cool way to show off the, the, the temple wall, you know, and it's all familiar to us. We've seen it before, but these scenes of the that we're getting here, yeah. the terror dog. That, that <laughs> move with the chair and the spit, like, that is awesome. Yeah, it is. It's kind of a ride. Honestly, I was, I'm, what if the chair tilted forward and she, like, went down, like, a... Into the, oh, the filmation cool. Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay, like an Alice in Wonderland yeah. type hole. Terror dogs have possessed somebody. So he had to hide the trap. So Gozer can, can't get it. And I guess he maybe knew he was going to be able to guide somebody to get yeah to it at some point. Well, podcast trying to open the, the trap with the ruler is very funny. <laughs> it's a way to incorporate, you know, that instead of just telling the story, you're just kind of showing it. 
face he makes when he lo- when he's like open the trap or whatever and he looks down and smiles so mm-hmm. big is the goofiest but it's my it's my favorite Gruberson moment. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, it. They're... Look at that thing. That's a scary shot. That's yeah. scary. <laughs> it's like depressing <laughs> flirtation. Yeah. I like it's it. always depressing when you're a kid and you see your parents like doing anything close to like flirting or ugh, it's just the worst. In the movie, that that is the Tobin spirit guy. No, we got him out. Winston. We just missed a good your mom joke. Yeah, we did. I like the idea of Winston driving back across the country in the Ecto with like he's a just, thousand tracks. He's just got a. He's, there's nothing about this no. that feels like Ghostbusters to me, and I'm not, not saying that. That's not a derogatory thing. Yes, when you when you don't understand why something happened, you just tend to kind of push it away and just be mad about it. Yeah. And I mean, speaking of shirts, if we're going to talk about everybody's shirt, I think this is probably the best time to talk about the fact that Phoebe's shirt here has the, the Zetter the, cards. Yeah, it's the cards. It's the the wavy lines, the pluses, mm-hmm. whatever. Oh my god! The first time I saw that in that first trailer, I basically lost my my shit. Lighting is incredible. Oh yeah. I just wonder if he used to watch any movies down here with all these uh, TVs. Uh, There's yeah. the a quick shot of the Geiger meter on the table there, I, and I, I'm I'm happy to say that I saw that on the first viewing. Jake was the first person in the world to see that, and I, we also have Phoebe wearing the straps backwards on her pack. Abby, how do you feel about that? Flipped, but that's just going to be it. We're going to go with it since that's the way we started. And also, it is believable that in this world, well, when it, I would put a proton pack on, they'd get all flipped and fucked up. Well, that's what happened. They just flipped as yeah. she was putting them on, and then it's like for continuity it's got to stay that exactly. way oh man it does not get better than a proton stream and that sound that shot is just so- by the way they could easily have killed themselves in each other deviant and mischievous i feel like muncher has more of like a, a de- kind of like you feel bad for him <laughs> um a little bit like there's some sort of sympathy and I like how all the metal in Muncher's belly like glows. Like I love that's a gets really, really hot. Yeah, that's yeah. a really cool added touch there. Uh, oh boy. <sighs> Quiet down, everyone. And he's now talking about how the Ghostbusters, once again, after Ghostbusters 2, failed again. Like, there's a lot to unpack here. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not really a lawyer, but I, I can assist you in this situation. He's giving this random stranger so much information. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That they didn't really ask for. Whoa! <laughs> I think she's just mad that he ruined Nirvana. The terror dog flying all the way from the mountain straight to yeah, Walmart. He's got to get those deals. Go there more. Dude, I'd be looking for them totally. He's really thirsty. He wants to get some uh, uh, Dr. Pepper. Mm. Dude, I think he was like, "I'm." Pro- there's a possibility I'm getting laid soon, so I'm getting some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like soon, but not tonight. Yeah. He's getting kissed, ice cream. He got kissed on the cheek. It's a good feeling. Mm-hmm. I like the bowl of just floating severed mini puffed heads in the back. Hey, I never yeah, realized yeah. before before he put that chocolate on him, he licked that chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, that. this is going to be my smooth, velvety death. This is our, our reveal that amazing actor, one of the best actors on the planet, J.K. Simmons, is in Ghostbusters. What happened in 1984? Ghostbusters was released. <laughs> now, we saw this pit of doom in one of the first trailers, and I could not even wrap my head around what I was seeing. Yeah, me either. It was such a quick shot. That music cue in the original goes right in the bump boom. I really want it to go into Should we uh, add it to the saving the day? Bump yeah. boom. <laughs> See the danger zone. This is Craig's favorite part. Yeah, because she horned she, up Carrie Coon is Craig's listen, favorite. Horned listen, up, doing listen. heavy breathing. I love Carrie Coon possessed as well. I am into this. Calm dude, have some water. Calm down. I want a pet muncher so badly. <laughs> Into- flight suits. Oh, this original shot from the first uh, first Ghostbusters, the slow reveal of the license plate, the same shot of the car leaving. Oh, uh, that's the great. Sound the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man painted on the wall. Mm-hmm. Love that. Well, this is all completely from the first. It's movie. the exact thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, even the animation here of the Terror Dogs. It's some of the. It's some of the exact same. There's a quick shot of Gozer in the trailer. Right. And for some reason. There was never a part of me that thought they would recast Gozer. I thought she would be CGI. Right. And then the other one goes, go home, you're drunk. 
The world is going to end every time. It's not just like, oh, if we don't stop this ghost, this street will be destroyed. It's yeah. always just the entire world. Connor does it the right way. She's yeah. holding it. it. That stream is so close to Phoebe's head. It's yeah. scary. It's precision. Uh, here we go. The mini puffs are coming back. <laughs> so, yes. So great. But to have Gozer in different forms, like, that's... In really one time, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that that was... Look at that special. side part she's got going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you Just been? standing there. <laughs> the mini puffs <laughs> reacting. Yeah. Bill's <laughs> face. It's so classic. It, it's crazy that, you know, I never thought we would ever get Bill Murray in another Ghostbusters film, and it, it's it's perfect. Like, he he plays, the, he's right back in this character. I, mm -hmm. I I love all of these scenes with these guys. And like Bill Murray is so Peter Venkman just with his face, just his facial movement. <laughs> and she's like, all right, hold on. Let's toast this muffin. That shot is Ivan Reitman's hand. Yes, it is. Never expected to see this. Look at that. Yeah. What do you guys feel here? I don't want to talk about it. But there's this look, shot. Here it comes. Feel, this is the greatest shot in cinematic history. I right cannot now. believe. Like this is what we wanted out of Star Wars is to just see your original characters yeah. in yeah. one time. shot, Leia. one more time. And this is the best de-aged or digital character I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Thanks for pitching. And then you I just get some vacuum here. Style. Who's that one? I love the next All right, Callie, calm down, you. everybody. <laughs> Bill, you're married. Look how good that this is the most devastating thing I've ever seen on screen. This yeah. meant a lot to a lot of people, not just, you know, fans of a movie. Right. This is real life. Real life. It's like art imitating here. Look real at life that. Things. His like pursed lip, like he's like quivering. Abby, what do you think of this? piece here it's called reconciliation this this uh rob simonson it's gorgeous piece of the score it pulls right on your heartstrings uh, reminiscent of et i'm li i'm like i'm I, my eyes are watering right i've never been able to watch this and not you can't so there it is directed by jason reitman i i really like these ending credits they're really fun yeah. they're a little bit like um it's like the Avengers. It's a little bit like Avengers, but it's not very much in line with like the rest of the movie. It's kind of like a we've had this huge like emotional release, and now we yeah. can kind of like have a little fun for a second, <laughs> yeah. sing the song, maybe dance a little. Yep, with her, he, like he's, he's a yeah, better he's human better when he's around Sigourney Weaver. This is so yeah. Ghostbusters too. This feels so much like them hanging out in his apartment. Yep. Did you mark the cards? <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. I love Bill yeah. Murray so much. Payback. It works well. Hi, everybody. Craig from Yes Have Some here. And I just wanted to take a minute to tell you all about YHS Podcast on Patreon. You know, you're here for a reason. You either just discovered Yes Have Some or you've been listening for a long time. You like what we do here. And I'm telling you, Patreon is the best way to get a lot more of it. For as little as $5 a month, you can help support YHS, help us keep the lights on, as they say, and you get complete access to our entire archive of bonus audio content. We do multiple bonus episodes a month. Sometimes they're full YHS episodes. Sometimes it's me just rambling about toys. We even have Jacob Walsh doing passages of Stephen King and giving his insight and opinion on all the books he loves with the Jacob Walsh Book Club. I'm telling you, the people that are already a part of it absolutely love it. We have this incredible community. And it's not just the audio episodes. You're going to get access to the exclusive YHS Patreon Discord, as well as our Patreon Instagram. Like, when we go on trips, when we go to Star Wars Celebration, when we go to Dragon Con, when we do all the stuff that YHS is known for, we don't post everything publicly. We have an Instagram page just for Patreon. It has exclusive photos, video, and just content that you're not going to get anywhere else except for on the YHS Instagram for Patreon. So, Abby likes to say, 
turn the wheel and unlock that vault and get access to all of this incredible YHS content that you've been missing out on. Patreon.com slash yes have some. As little as $5 a month. We have multiple tiers. And I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, let's get to the show. <laughs> 